Good evening. If you're anything like me, you've been hearing a barrage of constant talk about something called Skibbity Toilet on your social media feed and from people you know for a while now. I honestly had zero clue what this was, and upon googling it I was immediately met with what looked like Gmod screenshots of people's heads coming out of toilets, and I immediately closed the tab and dismissed it as some weird fad for little kids not worth my time that would pass by in a week or so. Only it didn't pass by. I've continued hearing about this thing for what feels like months now. I've started seeing posts of other people who are similarly bewildered by its existence. And today, I finally cracked and decided to look deeper into it and try and figure out just what the hell Skibbity Toilet is. Here's how that went. The first thing I did was look it up on YouTube, and I discovered something kind of crazy. Which is that these Skibbity Toilet videos are getting millions, sometimes tens of millions of views, in a matter of days. Videos getting that many views with almost no recognition elsewhere online is almost always a sign of it being popular on YouTube kids apps or the like. So the second thing I did was ask my Discord server to help me figure this out, and after deciphering as much information from their gibberish as I possibly can, I think this is probably as good of a job as I'm going to be able to do at explaining this nonsense. So, the first thing that was made abundantly clear to me is that this guy, Defuck Boom, is at the center of this. He is an animator who has been around since 2016, and it looks like before this whole toilet thing took off, he was most well known for making GTA San Andreas Big Smoke memes and Squid Games animations. Some people I spoke to said he was Russian, and that might be true, but everywhere I looked online said he was based in the United States. Maybe he fled because of the war or something, I don't know. Anyways, this guy Defuck Boom has a very successful YouTube channel with millions and millions of subscribers. 7 billion views, Jesus. He is the one who is responsible for spreading this thing everywhere, and I'm all but sure he's the original creator as well. It being, of course, a series of animations where a guy has his head, or sometimes three of his head, stretched out through a toilet while he sings a weird song or makes weird noises. That's what we're dealing with here, okay? That is the heart of the Skibbity Toilet. But apparently there's a lot more backstory to it than that. After doing some digging around, I've discovered that the term Skibbity appears to originate from this video, where a guy dances with his belly jiggling to a song where it sounds like someone is singing Skibbity Bop. Skibbity dop, 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 yes, yes. That audio apparently got incorporated into a meme remix of Give It To Me by Timbaland and Nelly Furtado at some point, which makes me sad because I actually really like that song. And then Defuck Boom made a video where Melo7 from Half-Life 2, who has his own lengthy meme history I did an old video on, sings that remix with insanely contorted facial expressions before jumping off a building into oncoming traffic. This went insanely viral. From there, uh, toilets got involved. <laughs> Apparently Defuck Boom had been doing short animations involving toilets and Melo7 for a while before this, but it seems that adding that Skibbity song was the golden ticket to massive success. So now we started animating people's heads coming out of a toilet singing this song, birthing this Skibbity Toilet phenomenon, which has become massively popular via YouTube Shorts and TikTok, and now resides permanently in the mind of seemingly every child in the continental US. But that's not all, because it's also become a series of some sort. A full-on narrative series that there are seasons of, though from what I can tell, one season consists of merely a few minutes worth of video, and there's really not much continuity between episodes. Anyway, it now appears to be trying to convey a story where the Skibbity Toilets are some kind of malevolent threat to humanity that's spreading or multiplying, and they're going to war with a race of people with cameras, speakers, and TVs for heads that are trying to stop them. There's apparently different kinds of toilets, like military toilets, G-Man toilets, spider toilets, or flying toilets. And some of these videos are presented like straight-up live leak footage, with these toilets raining terror on the general public and blowing up buildings. It's so strange. The camera heads seem to have come in later in the story, so like I said, I think they're meant to be some kind of resistance against the Skibbity Toilets. Though I couldn't tell you myself if they're a force for good or evil in this deranged story. Also, sometimes these things aren't even toilets. There's this one where the camera pans into an elevator and these guys are coming out of urinals. So at this point, I honestly recommend against trying to rationalize or make any of this make sense in your head. There is one big thing everybody seems to be wondering though, and that's whether we as a society should be worried about the emergence of Skibbity Toilet. There seems to be a growing concern about whether there's anything malicious to this trend, and while I am a little curious how the future generation is going to turn out if this is what they're growing up watching 15 hours a day, it doesn't seem to me like there's anything innately sinister or predatory about it. It's obviously not teaching any valuable lessons to the kids who are watching it, but that's honestly true of basically all of the slop kids watch on YouTube these days anyway. Hell, I feel like the weird SFM videos I watched growing up really weren't that far off from this in terms of how absurd they were. It's just that this is formatted in the same insane sensory overload style that everything else on TikTok is. Which, don't get me wrong, is probably going to prove to be a very bad thing for our future generation's attention span, but it's also not unique to the Skibbity Toilet thing at all. There does, however, appear to be a ton of people online trying to profit off the trend. You notice tons of apps related to it on the Android store and places like that, and I wouldn't be surprised if that rabbit hole runs deeper than I know. 
It also looks like people have started making fan-made entries to the series and merch and stuff. But in all, I'm pretty sure all of this starts from that defuck boom guy just making weird-ass animations. And there's not really anything wrong with that in itself. Okay, I just found out there's also apparently another series he has called America that's very similar. Except the heads that come out of the toilets are those of Joe Biden, Barack Obama, and Donald Trump. And it seems to be some kind of attempt at political commentary where as soon as someone mentions oil, or the border, or developing countries, one of them shows up with an American flag, an army, and a bald eagle. So I guess if you're worried about your kid getting radicalized by skibbity toilet or something, then maybe keep them away from that, I guess? Alright, but seriously, this shit is fucking stupid. I talked to more than a dozen people about it, and I still don't even feel like I really understand it. But if I were to have to try to put things into the most simple terms possible, Skibbity Toilet is a YouTube short series about citizens from Half-Life 2 coming out of toilets and singing songs, while camera and speaker people fight against them and are maybe trying to save the world from them because they are evil and kill people and blow up buildings. Some guy who is possibly Russian is responsible for producing over 40 episodes of this, and children love it. I have no idea how people come up with stuff like this, but it's pretty hilarious to me that the guy who provided his real face for the Malo 07 model back in 2003 is still around and has probably seen his younger face coming out of a toilet and singing a weird skibbity bop song on his daughter's iPad or something. Can you imagine? Anywho, what I've looked over here today is pretty similar in vein to Next Bots and a lot of the other weird Gmod and SFM stuff I've seen crop up over the last couple of years, in that it's pretty clearly just insane nonsense whipped up for kids. But it also seems to confirm my suspicions that G-Man and the Half-Life 2 guys make making funny faces, is going to continue to entertain young people for generations to come, just as it did for me. Which is kind of cool in my opinion. Although, at the same time, it also honestly kind of has nothing to do with Gmod. It's technically animated in Source Filmmaker, and I was able to find videos of what looks like live-action CGI skibbity toilet movies, so it's pretty clear to me that the appeal to this whole thing is nothing to do with the actual games these guys are from, and everything to do with guy in toilet making funny face to catchy song. I don't know how long of a lifespan there is for a trend like this, but according to this website, Defuck Boom got 3 billion views in June 2023 alone off the skibbity toilet stuff, and was the number one most viewed channel on the entire of YouTube that month. So honestly, just fair play to the guy. He clearly found something that works for him, seeing as some of these videos have literally almost 200 million views, and I can't hate on that even a little bit, even if I don't really get it. This stuff isn't made for me after all, and if nothing else, at least it isn't weird fart-slapping needle blood fetish stuff like the old Elsagate videos were. Apparently there's a whole wiki dedicated to covering this shit if you want to learn more, but I think I've honestly soaked up enough skibbity toilet lore throughout making this video to last me an entire lifetime. Multiple lifetimes, even. So I can only hope that if you were confused about what this insane skibbity toilet phenomenon that seemingly popped up overnight is, this video helped you understand it a little better. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.